I bring you a new world video showcasing all known legendary ice gauntlets in the game. Now I will say from the research I have seen, I mean all these ice gauntlets have the same icons and images, but that may not be truly apparent within the game. So if you think all these are looking the same, it's probably because I think they meant to be, I'm not too sure. And I also will mention a couple of these weapons uh, or these gauntlets we don't know where to obtain from yet so there I'm hoping you guys can help me out but in terms of the, the item stats it's all here so let's go. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so today I bring you a video showcasing all known legendary ice gauntlets in the game and how they were obtained. Now there's quite a few more ice gauntlet legendaries than there is any other item i've noticed in the game don't know why that is but hey okay so let's get into it people first up we have the thunder snow so this legendary you have to craft where you need an arcane at a level of 142 it also needs to be crafted on an alchemy tier 4 station and you need a trade skill xp of 3750 and a territory standing of a 100. next up we have the subduer's wrath so this legendary needs to be crafted also guys, requires a station of an alchemy tier 4, requires an arcane a level of 137, trade skill xp of 3750 and territory standing level 100. Next up guys we have the Brian of the Frosty Shore, so this legendary also needs to be crafted. Station requires an alchemy tier 4, requires an arcane level of 147, trade skill xp of 3750 and a territory standing of 100. So next up guys we have the Frost Grasp Gauntlets. So this legendary is seemingly an exclusive drop to the Lazarus Instrumentality Expedition Boss of Scylla. So wanna farm these, they look good for you, this is where you gotta go. Next up guys we have the Winter Wish. So this legendary is an exclusive drop to the Garden of Genesis Expedition Boss known as Alluvium Mild Care Taker. Next up guys we have Winter Bite. This legendary you can drop from a level 59 and 60 lost equipment caches which I believe are obtained via you fishing but don't quote me on that. As from all the research I've done so far, it doesn't seem there's an actual concrete place where these are obtained from but I do believe they could be fishing. So next up guys we have In The Quiet. Also this legendary can drop from level 50 and level 60 lost equipment caches. Again, I'm not sure exactly where these are from but I believe it could be fishing. Next up guys we have the Griping Rhyme. So this legendary is an outpost rush tier 5 cash chest reward. Obviously you need to be at level 60 to take part in these PvP battleground style 20v20 modes but when you do you have a chance of dropping this from the end tier 5 chest. Next up guys we have the Fractured Bowl. So this legendary has a chance of dropping from a level 59 and level 60 protectors equipment cache chests and also angry earth equipment cache chests. Where these are at the moment I have no idea but if you can help me out let me know and I'll edit the video description. Next up guys we have the biting resonance. So this legendary has a chance of dropping from a level 59 and a level 60 ancient equipment cache chests. Now I have seen these on a couple of spots of the map within the higher leveled areas and I'm guessing once you reach around a level 40 to 50 these are added into the loot pool. Next up guys we have the glacial rage. So this legendary you have to craft. Required station is an alchemy tier 5, it requires an arcane a level of 197, trade skill xp of 7285 with a territory standing needed of 141. Next up guys we have the Rhyme Lash. So this legendary guys is a quest reward legendary, the quest is called the Hand of Horthrust. The quest giver is Jennifer Heatley. The territory you obtain this quest is Great Cleave. It requires you to gather components to make the legendary eyes gauntlet Rimlash. But I believe you have to complete many other tasks before this quest opens up. And those quests could indeed be Forged in Frost, Chilling Spectres, Rebels on Ice, Frostbitten Fighters, Blooded in the Snow, Eternum's Icy Crown, Wintry Boons and Frozen Heart. Now this could just be one long quest, so if you have any quests uh, where those names seem familiar, continue on with those quests and you should eventually open up the main quest for this, called the Hand of Horthrust, which eventually rewards you the Rhyme Lash Ice Gauntlets. Next up guys we have the Master Cyromancer's Gauntlet. So this legendary needs to be crafted. Station requires an alchemy tier 5, 
Requires an arcane level of 187. Trade skill XP you need 7,285. And total true standing of 141. Next up guys we have the Frost Fairy's Gift. This is also a legendary that needs to be crafted. Required station of Alchemy Tier 5. Required arc in a level of 187. Trade skill XP needed is 7285. And total true standing of 141. Next up guys we have the Crystalline Curse. So this also needs to be crafted. Required stations at Alchemy Tier 5. Required arc in a level of 200. Trade skill XP of 7440. And total true standing of 144. Okay, so the following legendaries are all world drops across the board, which are believed to be added into the loot pool between the level of 40 and 50. Okay, so they are the Fragment, the Siren's Staccata, the Shard of One, the Ruger Mortis, the Promise of Malevolence, the Pilgrimage's End, the Frozen Fingers, the ever giving and the cold stone so those are all world drops people and the following ones guys are actually unknown drops at the moment meaning we don't know where these come from whether they're actually in the game yet we do not know but if you've had any of these drop let me know and i'll edit the video description so the world knows okay so those are the glacial gaze the frozen spate the frozen embrace the peaceful chill the Garn Griper, I believe that's pronounced, I'm probably wrong, I normally am. The Frostbitten Mitt and the Diamond's Icy Grasp. So those are all unknown drops at the moment. But there we have it guys, all Icy Gauntlets believed to be New World right now. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one